in the first lesson for 57 factor special products i introduced you to the phrase perfect square trinomials and we discussed that in a perfect square trinomial the first term and the third term they are perfect squares and then we discussed that the middle term is actually if you take the square root of the first term and this one was x the square root of the last term 3 3 times x is 3x double gives you the middle term that is the pattern of a perfect square trinomial so i ended up with x plus 3 times x plus 3 and it equals x plus 3 squared all right the other thing that we that i had in the the last set that you were working on is that we had a plus here and a plus here okay there's another type of perfect square trinomial but instead of plus plus you have a minus and a plus minus and a plus so then that will lead us to a different type of an different answer in the end here so i'm going to show you how that one works now so i have x squared minus 6x plus 9. again we have a plain x squared out front so we can just make our parentheses and we'll see how this works now x squared i know i'm going to put x here and x here because x times x gives me the x squared for the first term my third term is 9. i need the factors of 9 that give me negative 6. Factors of 9 that give me a sum of negative 6. So I'm like this. Uh, I know right away uh, I have to have one factor be uh, positive, or what does one have to be negative, or do they both have to be negative? Well, in this case, it looks to me like both will have to be negative. So I have negative 1 and negative 9. That's a sum of negative 10. And here I have, then I can have negative 3 and negative 3, sum of negative 6. Okay, so now here's what I want right here, negative 3 and negative 3. So what should you notice here? I'm going to put in here a minus 3 and a minus 3. And what do you notice about these terms again? They are identical. And so I can change this to say x minus 3 squared. So then how does this compare to what I have up here in green? Well, how does it compare in the end? The only difference is, yes, in the middle here, I have a minus instead of a plus. So in a perfect square trinomial pattern, if it's plus plus, I'll have an x square root of the first term plus the square root of the third, and that will be in both of them. If it's a minus here in the middle, then I'm going to say x minus 3. Let's look at what I have in red now. All right, let's check it. Is this a perfect square? 9y squared, yes. 49 is also a perfect square. The square root of 9 is, the square root of 9, that's 3. The square root of 49, that's 7. 3 times 7, that's 21. Middle number has to be doubled. What is 21 doubled? 21 times 2, that's 42. So it looks like I do have a perfect square trinomial here. So this one can follow the pattern. Therefore, I won't have to go through the factoring by grouping. And I can write down my parentheses. Okay, so since this one here is a perfect square, I know that the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y is y, or y squared is y. So I need that for both terms in the first part of the parentheses. Then in the second part, I need the square root of 49, because 7 times 7 is 49. Now I have to figure out what to do with the signs. In this case, the middle term is a minus, so I'll put a minus in here, because this is the pattern perfect square trying to almost follow. And then I have 3y. When I multiply 3y to 3y, I get 9y squared. 3y times a minus 7 is negative 21. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. So this one then becomes 3y minus 7 squared. If you have trouble recognizing the pattern, it is still okay to look at this and say, what are the factors of, like I'll do 9 times 49, factors of 9 times 49, that would give me a sum of negative 42, and you can go through the factoring by grouping like you did in, in lesson 9, 6, or 5, 6. There's nothing wrong with that. But everything right now that I'm going to give you at this lesson will follow after this pattern. I'll have a perfect square here, a minus the term, and that is a perfect square here. This middle term, 
will be the square root of the outside terms multiplied together. So this would be like 3x times 2 gave me the middle term here. Just like I ended up over here and I went through all this in red here. All right, so if you have any questions, please be feel free to let me know. What I want you to do on this one is also from page 310. It is It will be numbers, just a second. It will be numbers. Sorry, I misplaced this paper. I'm looking for I found it. Okay, it'll be numbers 2, 3. Oops. I need numbers 2, 3. five and eight. All right, two, three, five, and eight. Give those a shot. Let me know how you're doing with them.